we were doing going up the hills over there on our warm up. Really nothing dynamic or ski specific at all. We want to go away from that. So we go, that's like our normal walk. Then you know we can have a little bit of a ski walk where we have this pause right here and a little bit of compression. So that's kind of our like second here. Um, that can be going for any sort of like steeper hill. Um, kind of that main one back there. We can use that here. Then we'll kind of get into muscles. So muscles is a little bit of a mix between that bound and the ski walk. So we're not really going for the like super powerful bounds, but we want to just kind of have a little bit of a like a dead leg. Obviously I don't have poles, so it's a little harder to tell, but the main thing that we want to focus on with the muscles is to really kind of have that small bound in that movement. So we're not really going for the like big, long, powerful bounds if we were doing like a max bounding or L4 bounding workout. Um, but we also at the same time are just doing a walk. So just to kind of go over that again, if we're most moving, you know, it's not a run, if you can tell. The main thing between like a run and the muscles is when we're running, what happens is our foot comes up to our butt here. When we're muscling or bounding, we don't want this. So, because when we're skiing, there's no point that we have this motion here. So really focus on that. And then if you are doing a bound, you know, then it's more powerful, more explosive. You're covering more ground. I just want to go over that quick, just to kind of know that there is a difference. And kind of today is more focusing on that muscle. So a little toned down bound, but still being explosive with those movements. Does that make sense?